The man known as the Manoa Rapist will be released after serving time in prison for more than 40 years. His attorney says John Frudenberg has paid his debt to society. But one of his victims says it's a big mistake. Manola Morales reports. Freudenberg admitted to raping or attempting to rape 16 women in Manoa in the 1980s. He was sentenced to life in prison with a possibility of parole and has been denied that possibility during parole hearings every year since he was eligible 26 years ago. KHON2 was there during the hearing in 2017. That is not uh, who I am now. Um, that's the person I was back then, 35 years ago. But after another hearing on Monday, the parole board agreed to have him released, much to the disappointment of one of his victims. I can tell you personally how dangerous this sex offender is and that he's very compulsive and he doesn't have self-control. The victim adds that testimony from other hearings has her convinced that Freudenberg has not been reformed. I think what's going to happen is um, that he will reoffend. He will. This is such a big red flag. It's it's very dangerous. He's a very dangerous person, and he should not be out in our community. The bottom line is, Mr. Freudenberg has had 40 years of no misconducts. He's been a, an exemplary uh, inmate. Um, he has developed many skills over the years. He became an electrician. The head of the Hawaii Paroling Authority sent a statement saying the Hawaii Paroling Authority doesn't take this decision lightly. Freudenberg's release will be monitored closely. He adds that a release date has not been determined. When released, he will be placed on electronic monitoring. He will also be required to register as a sex offender. The Sex Abuse Treatment Center points out that the state attorney general has a website that lets people know if there are sex offenders living in your area. There's also a Hawaii sex offender search mobile app where users can sign up and get alerts when a sex offender moves to your neighborhood. We will post the links on khon2.com. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.